you know, the more that I take time and just think about, you know, this game, not just the game, well, <laughs> that, well if it's not just the game, then why did I say the game? But the more that I really realize it, I've realized that I've really changed, mm -hmm. uh, What's that over you know, there? I personally realized that I've uh, changed um, a lot, like behavior wise. I feel like I've played this game a little too much to the point that it's starting to hurt me and I just don't feel it, but it's like kind of happening. I'm, um, I don't know how do I describe it, but the amount of jokes that I've used in relation to the theme of this game is a little too out of hand. And it's like, it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> but uh, hello everyone, it is me, Drew Gaming here, and welcome back to some Hyper Dimension Neptunia, or Mega Dimension Neptunia, because um, <laughs> I just want to play the darn game. So, you know, last time uh, we did a lot of VR sessions last time, but during that we found Ram and Ram. We're in Blonde's story uh, mode, and I'm uh, <laughs> the more that I think about it, I don't know if I'm even gonna get this arc done in this one episode because the more that I think about it I feel like there's no way in heck I'll get this done as soon as I think I will because it will take a long time that's for sure uh oh you already know the business uh oh uh oh oh there's a revolution thing going on kind of like the same thing in uh, last station right wait a second what's going on this is literally the same dude that told Seisha to eliminate her. Now he's... Now he needs help from her? This has to be some way of shape or form manipulation, right? Like, as in like, oh, I'm a... You know, I need you for uh, something. Like, you know, something literally, but like, not the thing I intend. Like, I don't know. Something, something's going on. Wait, now he wants her to investigate Seisha. Wait... Okay. Rules over to Louis. I mean, I'm not surprised about that because, again, she's probably a gold third because, you know, Keisha was. But what is his intention exactly? Like, hello? Creation of the delusional monsters. I. Okay, I think that part's probably false. The whole her being a gold third and ruling the nation? I'll believe that because I think that was the same thing with Keisha, I believe. But for. I don't, I don't know. Ruling over delusional monsters? I... Uh oh. Hold up. This isn't right. This dude is literally basically telling her, hey, uh, you know, you need to kill her, you know, Keisha, because, you know, she's uh, being a. Um, or Seisha. How do you want? I want to call her Keisha. See. Oh, no, wait. Okay, so, summary of that part of uh, the dialogue. Basically, um, what is it? He, the man who told Sisha to kill um, Blonde, or to eliminate Blonde, I don't know, however you want to put it, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, is now also telling Blonde, hey, you should kill Sisha. So, you know, because, you know, Sisha wasn't trying to kill Blonde, or she doesn't want to, and now, instead of him doing it himself, or, or however he wants to, instead he's going to be like, okay, then fine, instead of you killing Blonde, how about Blonde kills you instead? So... And he's, I guess he's putting the blame on, like, the idea that, yes, Sisha is a gold third, she rules the nation, I'll believe that, but I don't think I'll believe the idea that she's the one behind the delusional monsters. Sisha is Louise ruler? Then that means she's been deceiving me this whole time. It can't be. Sisha would never make such ridiculous rules. Sisha, I need to talk to you. Could you come with me for a second? Hmm? What's the matter? Just follow me. Rom, Ram, don't come out of this room for a while, okay? What's wrong, Blonde? You're making your scary face. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just stay here quietly until we come back. Let's go, Sisha. Blonde! Sisha, what happened? So, now that I think about it, will this progress a little faster than last time with Noir, where um, it took a know, long time just to figure out something? Blonde seemed real serious 
about it too. Like, uh, we figured out that Keisha was like the ruler, like, after we battled her. And, um, what is it? Here, she's kind of, Blonde's kind of figuring out when I just started recording this, actually. So, yeah, this is going by pretty quick. We don't Ooh, have to worry Black about Dark Alley, New York. Here. So be frank with me, all right? Ooh. Sure. I heard from a certain someone that you're the current leader of Louis and that you're part of Gold Third. Oh, you want to talk to me about this, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm the Gold Third of Louis, although I'm not exactly a ruler or anything. Okay, so she is a Gold Third of Louis, but not a ruler. So, it was true. Why didn't you tell me before? I really feel sorry about that, but you're a CPU and I'm part of Gold Third. You did remember me this whole time. At first, I was trying to atone for my sins. I don't know why, but because we defeated you and the other CPUs, the world changed. Also, oh, she does remember. So, wait, 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 wait. So, she did remember that. So, did she pretend to just forget about all that? I thought it was. <sighs> Maybe I'm just missing something. I tried to bring it up so many times, but as I got closer and closer to you, it just got that much harder to come clean about it. Then, the story about you creating all those delusionary monsters... You heard about that too? Where did you even get that information? Oh, so it is true? Hello? From your reaction, I'm assuming it must be true, right? Yeah, it's true. I was hiding it for my own advantage. Wow, everything has changed now. Where do I begin? At some point, I started having strange dreams. Or, I guess they were more like nightmares. Ever since I started seeing them, a strange dark red fog would leak from my body. What? From your body? Are you sick or something? Are you bleeding? <laughs> it's rare for you to worry about me. Thanks, but the fog seems benign. Since I, I don't know no English, I don't know what, what that means. Was, I thought it might have some effect on other people. I've been leaving the city to release it. Since I started releasing the fog, it stopped leaking out of me. But that was a bad idea. Oh! I think... I don't know if I edited this part out, because I haven't edited the previous part yet, but... That last episode where she says something about the monsters have like this red aura around them, that's why they're so infilled with rage. That came from her, because she did not want to release it upon the city. So she pretty much yeeted herself out of the city, and she's like, release! And then, all these monsters are now super powered. monsters started going berserk, and these monsters were directly influenced by the fog. But we have no idea about the origins of this fog. It's probably because of the rewritten monsters. of the history. Exactly. I became a hunter so I could reduce the numbers somewhat. I feel like it's solely my responsibility. You seem pretty half-assed about it, considering. Well, nobody can stay sharp forever. I think that's about it, though. That's the story. Anything else you want to ask me? There's one thing that doesn't add up. When was the license system created? Because you most likely started ruling over Louis after you guys defeated us. Which was not that long ago. But... Even though it hasn't been that long, the system is so deeply rooted in the culture. It's so normalized with the citizens here. The rewriting of the, the rewriting of That's history. That's actually something I don't get either. That day when the light subsided, the world truly changed. It was as if Gold Third had always been in power over the nations. Rewriting of history. The license system was already binding this nation, as if it had been decided from years ago within Louis's government. But there's definitely someone else who created the system. That's why I've been searching for this elusive ruler. To abolish it. Can't you use your authority to find them and abolish the system? She's not really a ruler though, is I she? I can't do that when all I have is this flimsy title. Besides, there's a rumor that Gold Third created the system, so it'd just make it worse. I'm getting like, really itchy. In parts that should not be itchy. Now I've told you everything that was hidden. It's your turn now, Blani. Where did you get this information from? This contact of yours knows way more than they should. 
the person who gave me this information is... There's no need to tell her. What, what are these people? Sisha, we will restrain you! <sighs> What's the meaning of this? Well done, Lady Blonde. We are the Revolutionary Army. Our master is waiting. What's Hello? going on here? We took the liberty of recording your entire conversation. We were able to record solid evidence of Sisha being the source of Louise's chaos. Wow. wow! They just straight up set them up. This is up. all thanks to you, Lady Blonde. Our master will surely reward you quite generously. Blonnie, you... He sold me out? All for a reward? No! I didn't know about this either! Then why are members of the Revolutionary Army calling you Lady? Sisha, it's a misunderstanding! You guys better let go of Sisha right now! We cannot do that. Take her away. Bonnie, I seriously thought you were a good partner. Sisha! Ugh, let me go! I cannot. That woman is dangerous. Just let me go, you bastard! Please, oh, more calm down, probably. As an Aleb, you worthless scum. How dare you lie to me! As an Aleb? So the equal sign is just silent? Lie to you? Whatever do you mean? I only requested you investigate her. Isn't it you who expertly performed that task, Lady Blonde? Bastard! You tricked me! I'll smash your face in! Can you do Oof. such a thing? Are you able to hurt the soldiers who protect me? Your citizens? Damn it! Now oh, then, I mean, she can, but... Until next we meet. She shouldn't. Sisha, I'm so sorry. I'll save you. Just hold on a little longer. Okay, okay, I like the direction this is taking, because I was thinking, you know, because in, the, what was it, in the uh, previous arc with Noirs, she was a wanted criminal, every, like the, in, like, you know, last station soldiers, or, you know, revolutionary army, whatever, you know, they wanted her because she was a criminal, and she had to do everything to prove herself that she isn't, or, you know, that type of stuff. This one is kind of the opposite now. I mean, even though that maybe it could be a little bit of a cheap write-off, but still, I'm at least glad they're not just gonna pull it off right off the book. Like, all right, let's just do the same thing we did the last arc, but you know, with different characters. So, I am interested with the idea that, oh, well, Blonde's just kind of here, you know, and now apparently she's the the hero because she got Sisha arrested for exposing herself about everything. <laughs> A few days later. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Whoa. Executed pretty soon. Talking about that woman, right? How horrifying to think someone like her was in control and ruling over Louis. Uh-oh. I mean, even if what they're saying is probably wrong, Ram, you should probably take in consideration that... It's probably gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, I guess this is the part where, you know, she becomes the antagonist in a way. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Wow. All right, well, Blonde came, saved her, and she looked all torn up. And, uh... Wait. Wait a minute. Uh... Um... Oh no! <laughs> the mysterious lady who can disguise herself as different characters has returned in the worst way possible. Well, not in the worst way, but, like, story-wise, not the best timing, because, oh, no. Uh... This is so bad. Oh, my gosh. This is awful. <sighs> Bro, this is not blood. Blonde. 
Oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe for the last part, they just had Noir and Uni kind of just like, you know. Never mind, I was fooled. It's just a dream. Oh. This definitely feels like a visual novel, I'm not gonna lie. It's a, it's a uh, half visual novel, half RPG. Actually, maybe 80% visual novel, cause like... So, no, what I said earlier, uh, she, more than likely she will attack us. And we will have to fight her one way or the other. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't train so hard for nothing. <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, uh... Dot dot dot. <laughs> well, um, we don't have any interest in a adult women, right? Yeah, an underdeveloped body is the- Whoa! That's kinda weird. <laughs> She's healthier, healthy, healthily underdeveloped and doesn't have. <laughs> Something, something was revealed. Something about eliminating her also. I don't know. I heard something about that. Or I think she she did at least. Okay, so the weird little lady that, um, what was it? The weird little lady comes. In, oh my. Uh, okay. Actually, that's kind of cute. Okay. Okay. But, uh, what, what was I going to say? Um, the, the lady came in. She was all like, okay. Um, Sisha, if you have a message for Blonde, then tell me so I can tell it to Blonde. Or something on the lines of that. And now we're here. And, uh, they took a bath, apparently, which I'm glad we didn't have to get a bath scene, because we don't need another scene of that. At least I don't. Is her name Financier? I just, I, like, started paying attention to the name, because I was like, I can't read the name, you know, so I'm wondering if um, her name is Financiar. Oh, never mind. It, we're kind of following the same storyline. Now she's on the wanted list. So they have to make preparations now to uh, figure out how to uh, get past everyone or something. Oh, now she's. Now they've successfully gotten a poster of her on a wanted list. Okay, so that previous conversation, the financer, which financier, I, I, that's her name, I'm gonna call her that, has uh, suggested, hey, you know, I'll not only check you out of the hotel so that, you know, they won't be able to find, they, I, I don't know, something along the lines of that, but you can come to my place if you want for uh, safekeeping. So that's where um, they're going right now. And hopefully... Oh wait, well, hopefully Blonde is going to be safe there. It seems like they're on the execution phase. Oh wait. Oh! Oh! Bro! Ouch! So they're not only going to execute her, but before that they're going to straight up publicly shame her. By showing off, hey, see this beautiful looking woman? She's the one, mm-hmm. She was the one, mm-hmm. And you must be all so excited to see her executed. See, look at that, shut up, you filthy demon. You should have been executed long ago. Now she's a witch. Will someone kill this witch already? Mm hmm. This is interesting though. I honestly am not gonna lie, this is interesting. I mean, maybe the more that I kind of think about it, I feel like it's kind of devoted 
to- I literally said that because the word devoted appeared on my screen, but I feel like it's a little, like, similar to the previous one, like, you know, Nuor's arc, but I, I do appreciate how it's taken a bit of a different term, like, and oh, so Keisha was uh, like, she's a Yandere, and she was the one pressuring, you know, Nuor, like, super hard to the point that, you know, it was getting, like, but this one is about them first arresting Keisha, and then they're going to and now, Blonde is on the wanted list. But it's weird because... I, I literally just called her Keisha. Sisha... Sisha... Is, um... Not... Like, a literal villain at this sake of time. But Keisha, because of her Yandere self... Was... Kind of a villain. Oof, when you flex on your intelligence, it's getting really noisy out there. I think it's execution day. Uh-oh. It's an emergency. The neighboring town was just, oh, oh, was just attacked by monsters. Never mind. Execution day isn't today, but it's getting attacked. Oh, I guess this is a way to say, haha. We're wanted, right? But how about we prove that we're not by saving you, citizens? Okay. Um, not a bad sight to see, Sisha. Now, what sense of way do you mean by that? So, um, I feel like this is kind of heading the same direction as it was in Noir's arc, but. I was about to say it didn't take that long for it to, but then again, I was recording for 35 minutes already, surprisingly, which it felt like not even that long. Oh! Your execution will be conducted today. Imagine you're just, you're a prisoner, you're just like, oh man, I, the only thing I can think about is when I'm gonna get executed. It's gonna be tomorrow, it's gonna be next week, could be next month, I don't know. And then it, the dude, you know, comes to you and is like, hey, your execution's today, actually. It's like, The only thing you can think of is, I'm screwed, I'm done, this is really the end. Today, like not even tomorrow, just today. Oh my gosh, greed, greed, greed. You know he's a greedy dude when he literally says my life is top priority and is highly valued. Dang, he doesn't even say we will meet again, he says we will probably never meet again. Oh, oh, I'm wondering if it's, you know, uh, this, where it's like, she's not really gonna be the one we have to fight, but it's the fact that the gas that she's releasing is the thing we have to fight. That will be interesting. What a chore. Blonde, please. Even I can tell this is too much for me. But I can't afford to pull back now. All right, let's go, Whiteheart. Let's go. I swear I'll stop them here. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, just from the looks of this, are we gonna be doing this in waves or? Um, because I think we might. Oh, we just killed one of them with one hit. That's good to know. All right, which one? Uh, let's try one attack. See what happens. Oh, yeah, that works too. Let's try one attack again. Oh, we have to try one attack again. Now we can fully kill it. Oh my gosh, she's one aggressive heck. That about does it. Like really aggressive. Like you need to chill, Whiteheart. Just me alone against this mini is gonna be damn tough after all. I just hope Financier's group is doing all right. Financier's? What? I can hear people screaming. <laughs> How nice. No matter where they run, it's no use. There's no way they'll be saved when even the hunters who are supposed to protect them have all fled. They'll realize who's been helping them all this time. 
as they're fading away, lying in a small pool of their own blood. <laughs> it's overflowing more and more. More delusionary monsters will be born. I don't care what happens. Lady Sisha! That voice... Financier? Financier? Why is her name Financier? The guards were gone, so I thought you might have been moved. Do you have business with me? I beg of you, Lady Sisha. Please, help Lady Blonde. Help Blonnie? I don't get what you mean. Lady Blonde is currently fighting alone against the horde of monsters approaching the city. She is? Why is she doing something so useless? She could flee and save her life if she wants. Lady Sisha? I won't help. Why do I have to fight in order to protect the city's inhabitants? What's wrong, Lady Sisha? To say such a thing. I have no intention of fighting for the people of this city. Everyone can fall prey to the monsters for all I care. It'll serve them right. Yeah, she's getting really antagonistic right all now. Those idiots who don't understand just who fought for them. Protected each one of them. Why were you fighting until now, Lady Sisha? Weren't you fighting because you loved this beautiful nation of Louis? If you love Louis, then that must mean you love her cities and all of her people there. It's true that I did love Louis, but no matter how much I did, I... Have you properly conveyed your love? If you don't properly voice your feelings, how can other people understand? <sighs> I think it's fine if your feelings of fighting for someone only goes one way. Even if it's a one-sided display at first, one day, they'll come to understand you soon. I truly believe it. Do you think they'll really understand? Yes, I'm sure. If I apologize, will everyone forgive me? If you properly apologize, they'll forgive you. I know it. How can you do that, though, when everyone has pretty much shamed this is you? This Louis, after all. It's a magical fairy tale nation. A wonderful and relaxed place. AKA Nintendo. Nintendo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Blani has said the same thing before. What was I even troubled over? Her love for this nation is so much greater than mine. I can't even compare. Yet, even though she was put on a wanted list and chased by the citizens, she still risks her life and fights for them. All I did was end up hating and cursing the citizens over something so small. I really am an idiot, aren't I? Lady Sisha, will you help us? Of course. I won't let anyone destroy this city that I love. You jackasses just keep on coming. But I have my own will to live. You pissed me off! Alright, yeah, we're doing these by wave. Alright, oh, they both have six. That means one way or the other, they're going to attack. Uncomfortably. I'll turn you into rats! Oh, great, and they have a lot of armor for some reason. Oh yeah, she leveled up. Oh, that's a cool level up animation. That is so cool. Well, hang on, I think all of those is cool. Damn it! What numbers? This is bad. At this rate, I might not make it. Ah, oh, now you just sound pathetic. See Chas here. Hey, oh there, my Bonnie. gosh. Seesha? Didn't you get caught? Financier came to save me. Well, I'll tell you about all that later. Right now, we need to get this mess sorted out. Huh. Talking so smart even though you just got here. Weren't you in a cell, though? Can you just jump in so soon? Now, she's gonna use the gold third power. Who do you think I am? 
I'm the hunter. No. I'm one of the gold third, Sisha. Oh, you can play as her? Nani? Okay, okay. Level 46. Oh my gosh, that's uh That's that's very strong. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I didn't think I can actually play as them. Jeez Louise, the jiggle physics though are actually out of hand. Army Barrette. She got the armor barrette. You know she my lady. <laughs> P P P P K. What? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, what? Blue orb. This should. Oh, she uses her hands. She. She's like square up. <laughs> okay, buddy. So we're gonna have to get. I guess one of these then. Let's get this one. Let's get P P P P K. So look how adorable she is. I didn't even think we could play as her. This is excellent. Excellent. Such weird names, though, for uh, moves, you know? Alright, let's go. Round one. So, this is not very interesting. So, instead of uh, the last episode or the last arc, we had a battle against Keisha, who was one of the gold thirds. This time we actually have to work with one of the Shahs. Okay. So are you ready? So that is awesome. Okay, let's see. One, two. One, two. Play. <laughs> you know, man, I'm pretty sure that's not what Chris says in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But he has that one where he's like one, two, and then he pulls out a gun. It's like eat this. You know. Oh, I probably could have just done like two moves. Let's party. Let's party. Why does she have wings on her? Actually, she's looking a lot like Marion or Morgan. Yeah, you know her, right? From Darkstalkers. K.O. Sometimes the most important battle is the battle within. Dang. So uh, who has a larger chest now? <laughs> Damn it! How many has it been now? I stopped counting about halfway. I can keep going. I want to say that at least, but I can't. My body's heavy. Looks like it's the end here. Thanks for everything, Blani. It's been real fun. What are you giving up for? We bought time. Now we can escape. Wait, actually, the more I think about it, if you can play as her, does that mean later in the game you can play as... All the shots? You say that even though you had no intention of running away from the start. What? The hell are you saying? I knew from the start that as a CPU, you'd never seriously use a strategy that would abandon a city. Of course. There's no way I'm gonna let any more of my cities be destroyed. <laughs> I feel the same way. Let's show them the inner strength of the golden pair. Don't use that stupid freaking name! What's this noise? Huh? You're right. What is it? Footsteps? Go! Everyone, charge! Ah! Wow. Wh what the hell's that? Hunters from the guild. Didn't they run away? Lun, Sisha, are you all right? We came to save you guys. Ram? And Rom too? <laughs> Nani. Lun, you're really hurt. I'll heal you right now. Wait, before you do that, what's going on? Oh, you two were all right. I'm so glad. Financier, you're here too? Me and Rom and Financier and the woman from the guild brought back all of the hunters. They told us that the Golden Pair was taking on the horde of monsters. We couldn't flee like pathetic wimps when two girls were out here still fighting a good fight. They remind me of the Monster Hunters. Or, uh, Samurais, I don't know. They look like Whoa, Samurais, actually, kind of. You know, if they right just painted it a little bit white, up. they actually do look Come like Samurais. Come on, you guys! Don't let any of those monsters out alive! They can't mess with our city! Yeah! Nice, an all-out hmm. war between the Hunters and a bunch think, of monsters. Lady Cisha? The people of this nation are really something, aren't they? Yeah, you're totally right. I'm embarrassed myself that I ever hated them. 
I'm relieved to hear you say that. Seisha. Blani, I was late in telling you this, but I'm sorry for keeping quiet about things. You don't have to apologize. You weren't trying to trick me, right? Besides, I should apologize for letting Asnaleb trick me. I'm real sorry. You don't have to apologize either. Everything is Asnaleb's fault. Thanks. Such a Helps greedy dude. Literally, straight up said, my life is high That's value and top priority. Me. When you have a government, or literally a yeah, powerful being, and you know, well, not literally, but figuratively, you know. It looks like if he literally straight up tells you, my life thing. is high value and top priority, veto him or yeah. impeach him one It'd way or the other, sort of just because they up. that that means they are selfish. Number okay. one, I very greedy. Number now, two, and, that's nice. and they don't give a crud about you. Number three. Ah, oh, jeez, here we go. That's fine, isn't it? Whatever, let's go. The Golden Pair has one more difficult job to do. Ram and Ram have joined the party. So this is interesting. So, still, I'm surprised we can play as Seisha, because she's one of the Shahs, and I couldn't guarantee the idea of us playing with, you know, one of the Shahs at all. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, Level that's up. cute. Wow, she leveled up again. Nice job. Oh, they finally finished. Ish? As much as a clinch. Alright. They did it. They actually did it. I'm surprised. I don't think we're actually going to fight Seisha, so that's interesting. Well, at least I hope so. Because, I mean, the way this is playing out, seems like this is like the end of the route right here. I mean, let's see. Because, number one, both Seisha and, um, what is it? Blonde proved that they are, um, innocent. And, um... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do we have two dudes arguing over trying to give her a piggyback ride? Okay, buddy. Alright, Seisha's left, because I'm pretty sure it was that one time. Okay, so... Here? Nice. Really? Well, yes, really. Oh my choice, gosh, please, Blonde. Stop. Stop making it comments like, like that. It's pretty damaged. frustrating. Thank goodness. Love you, but, like, jeez. You need we to all work your behavior together sometimes. To so I guess it makes sense. Oh? Why, if it isn't the prisoner and the wanted criminal over there. <sighs> the Asnaleb, son of a heck. Hiding? Literally. Greediest where? character in the entire game. Why are you acting like that? You were the very first one to run away. I do not True. know what you're implying. Besides, who would believe words from a prisoner? Wow. I don't know. I just straight up hate <laughs> this, this guy. Jerk. Now... Hunters, capture these criminals. Well, why won't anyone capture them? They're the ones responsible for tarnishing Louise's fine name. That's not true. At the least, Lady Blonde and the others love this city more than you, coward. What are you saying, financier? There's no existing evidence that I ran away. Yeah, sure, but there is existing evidence that they actually fought against the monsters. I'll testify to that then. What? You? Asnoleb said it didn't matter if this was destroyed or if the people left or not, as long as he was safe. Exactly. Tell what? them. No way. He ran away and left us all here to fend for ourselves. What kind of man is that? It's nonsense. This man is an associate of those criminals. He's the one who arranged for Blonde to be placed on the wanted list. You scum. Tell him. Sir Asnaleb tried to execute Lady Blonde and Lady Seisha, all for his own greed. Those two were innocent. Exactly. Science. Who do you think I am? The god who created the license system. What? You must have a pretty deep connection with the nation if you knew that I was the ruler of Louis. 
Putting aside whether you created the system or not, there's a high chance you know who did. You... you must be joking! Now, now, why don't you let us hear your side of the story, hmm, Mr. Asnaleb? There are things we'd like to... ask you. We'll have you come along. Quietly. Quietly. This is ridiculous. Let's go. Let go of me! You ordinary weak people can't do anything without my guidance or management. Oh yeah, sure you thing, buddy. You literally just left them by all by yourself. For the sake of your happiness. What's so good about Louis being ruled by a girl who looks middle-aged? Oh, the horror. Don't give me that. Wow, I have to censor that now. You, you hit me. Even my own father never hit me. Oh, how dare you punch my face with a fist, even? What? what? Yeah, I punched you. So freaking what? And the citizens of Louis aren't weak. They don't need your damned oversight. Yeah. You heard the lady. We don't need you, so get to walking already. Can we just talk about the fact his first comment was, No one ever punched me in the face. Neither did my father. And you punched me with your fist, even. Can we talk? This man. Don't even talk to him. Just execute him. <sighs> wow. I, just you look wow. Refreshed. <laughs> I feel pretty good after seeing all that. I guess it's my turn next. Watch me, Blani. Sisha? Hey, are you all listening? My name is Sisha, and I'm the Gold Third ruling over Louis. Because I was a coward, I let that idiot have his way with Louis. And I sincerely apologize. This isn't your fault. You aren't responsible for Asna Leb's own stupidity. Even still, I'm at fault. I'm the leader, yet I neglected my duty and became a hunter, wandering around the nation. If I had been more responsible, this never would have happened. So, I have a favor to ask all of you. I ask that you will accept me as your leader. What? Accept you? You were Louise Gold Third? I know that she rarely shows herself, but I never expected the leader to look like some kid. I know that I'm not very reliable, but I love Louis. So please, let me protect the nation I love. I don't know about you, but Seashot definitely looks pretty middle-aged if you ask me. And when I say middle-aged, I'm thinking like nearly like 20 or something. Mm. Like age 19, maybe. I guess they won't accept me after all. Of course it wouldn't be so convenient. I think it sounds all right with me. Hmm? I'm fine with it, too. Anyone who boldly loves Louis is a good person in my book. You risked your life to protect this city. I can leave this nation to someone like you. Is it really okay? They're saying it's fine, so it's fine, isn't it? Financier! What are you doing? They're all right with leaving things to you, so you have something to say, right? Right. I may be a little unreliable, and I can get lazy at times. Neptune. But I'll do my best for Louis. So let's all make this place into a wonderful nation. <laughs> Is this okay, Blonde? It's fine for now. I don't want to destroy this piece by trying to force them to remember. Louis has to make some changes for it to rise above this dystopia it's been in for a while. It's best to let Sisha run things right now. What are you doing over there, Blani? Come over here! <laughs> hey, don't pull me like that! You're the star here, not me! You and I are both stars. Hey, so, I was thinking about having you be a secretary at the Basilicom. Are you just deciding my job without permission? I thought we were over that. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. We're a pair. We're in this together. That's separate from what you're talking about. It's better for someone who understands the situation to do it. Besides, this is an order from the omnipotent Gold Third. Oof. Hey, don't start talking like that, you jackass. That's freaking low and dirty. Lady Blonde and Lady Sisha really get along. <laughs> totally. Don't joke with me, Sisha. Let me go! It's quite the happily ever after. Yep! Uh-huh! 
and ain't happy at all. <sighs> just like Blonde said, nothing's happy at all. This is just the beginning in reality. You've got to be kidding. I actually thought this was like, oh yeah, we're at the end. Nope. Whoever the heck this inner voice is, who was probably also disguising herself as... <sighs> oh my now, God, I Sisha, hate this. it's time to awaken as a vessel. <sighs> Sisha, what's wrong? <laughs> That's right. I had completely forgotten about this. Guess it won't let things end peacefully. You suppress the delusionary power too much. To think your actions to protect this nation's people would backfire like this. I don't know why, but I forgot to mention that it was like, oh, well, it's gonna really end this fast. You know, we're not even gonna, you know, get rid of that golden tower that was causing the power that Keisha was having. So I'm wondering if we had to do, if, you know, since we had this, I was thinking, oh, then we don't have to do the same thing for Sisha, right? I don't know who but you that's are. Are you the, the mastermind? Case? All you need to know is that I'm taking control of your body. I'm looking forward to what this golden power of yours is like. So that's your objective. There are things I need to do. I won't let you. Sorry, Blonnie, but I have business that I need to take care of. Can you wait for me a little bit? Uh oh. Huh? Sisha? Where are you going? Sisha! Well, good to know this is definitely not the end. The Gold Summit. Yeah, that means we're probably gonna have to battle her there. Dang it, and I was really hoping for it to be something like super like, whoa, we don't even have to fight her? We just have to, you know. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely fighting her. We are definitely 100% fighting her. Ah, <laughs> it's, uh, wait. Steam, wait, why does he look exactly like Juro? Or is he Juro, but he just renamed him, or that's his nickname? What? So are they two different robots? Or are they like... What? What? Come on! Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> oh, this is... What? If I remember, no humans appeared within, and it had the plot of... Pro wrestling? What? To think of these revolutionaries were. F <laughs> <laughs> what? To think Louise revolutionaries were f furries? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh my, dude. In this locked cabinet is a photo album of Louise C. Pugh candidates. This angle, no matter how you look at it, seems to be secretly taking photos. If it were a magazine, a busty blondie, of busty blondies, I would take it. But for the world and humanity's sake, I should burn this. Wow, what a pure, what a pure robot. For humanity's sake, I should burn these photos that were definitely secretly taken pics of and should not be legal. This man, this robot is actually a legal, uh, pure Christian robot. Wow, and there's also a Neptube? What? Like... Hello? Incredible. I can't help interrupt my investigation. Oh, oh yeah, we're definitely going to the Gold Summit. Alright. My only issue is if it's gonna be like that last fight where it was pulling off a bunch of BS. Going in? It's gonna really suck when I have to fight Sisha and then be only one of them and then just die. Over and over and over because I apparently can only use my item a handful amount of times and the Shaws are, 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 are don't need to be that strong, but they are very strong. <laughs> And they can take multiple turns at the same time in a row. Oh no. Uh, are we gonna really go in there with, and it's just blonde? Okay, wait, for now we're not. So this is literally like the same... 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now that I think about it, like in Noir's place, I wonder, you know how it was all gray? I wonder if, uh, you know, since here it's like all like brightly colored blue or green, most, it seems like blue. Would that mean for Vert it would be like something like green and then for Neptune be like something like purple? Whoa, this is a weird looking place. What's this? <laughs> What's this? Oh, they're so cute. Okay, let me see my levels. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this recording and BRB real fast because I'm gonna be on a grinding session again. As much as I hate saying it. One hour later. Okay, so here we are. I finished my grind session. One thing I actually think is really interesting is that not only is the coloring of these platforms different, but so is actually the second uh, stage layout. And when I say second, I mean, you know, it, the first one is the same thing, but the second one is actually a much larger maze. As you can see, this is the second part of the um, this um, stage right here. And as you can see, there is a lot of platforms. This is kind of a maze. So, and the third section is literally the same thing as, you know, the last one where, you know, it's literally right into the boss, which will be Keisha or Sisha. An item. So, let's get these. More than likely, we are going to be fighting Sisha. So here we go. I don't know if I'm gonna have Ram and Ram on my side. I got uh, Blonde leveled up all the way to what I want her to be leveled up, and that is level 41. So let's do this. Sisha. Hey, Blonnie. Sorry to make you worry. If you really cared, you wouldn't have run off without saying anything. Huh, yeah. All right. Good point. I destroyed the crystal in this tower that's the source of my strength in order to prevent this, but uh, I'm in a sorry state. This tower is the source of Gold Third strength? Mm-hmm. I should have sealed my power, but it's overflowing from deep within me and it can't be suppressed. It's going to overtake me. You can't give up! We'll save you! Leave healing to me. I'm grateful, but this isn't something that can be fixed by healing. It's too late for me. Even now, I just want to fight against Blani so badly. It's unbearable. It's taking all I have to suppress this urge. So please, Blani, while I'm still holding myself back. Why do you resist? You should just fall quickly and hand your body over to me already. There's definitely a force on hand. What is this? What happened to Sisha? She looks scary. All right. Well, I guess we're really doing this. All right, let's go. I'm gonna have to fight her. Blonde? Are you gonna fight Sisha? I don't want to, but it's what she wanted. I have to defeat her here, before she hurts the people of Louis. But you two don't have to push yourselves. I'll handle this myself. Really? No, it's... I'll fight too. It better, we better have yeah, Ron and Ram. Because the last time we had a 1v1, it was literal BS. Oh yes, please, please, thank you. I don't know how, but there might be some way we can save Sisha. We have to try. I agree with Ram. I won't give up. Juan, you can't give up either. Let's try our hardest to save her. Wrong, Ram. Right. We won't fight to defeat her, but to save her. Yeah! You hear that, Sisha? I don't know how, but I'm going to save you. Oh, you dare challenge me? No matter. It's always fun to kill a god. Yes. You will feel the pain of my surge of delusion. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna bear the burden of all your darkness. All right, here we go. I don't need to hold back. Now do it. All right, so here we go. We're gonna fight Sisha again. She has six health bars. 
My dude! And now the real question is how much damage can she do? Because here's the one thing I did learn. Rom and Ram, their health was depleting a lot. And I think it's because, you know, since they're children, and since because they have long range attacks, number one, and, uh, you know, number two, they're small children. I'm wondering if that's the reason why they take so much damage. Because, um. Nothing can stand up to my safety! Okay, I'll do this! Wow. Can we just talk about what she just did right there? She just did, like, eight hits with one turn. Alright, but I think we got this. They also do more damage well, than then, Blonde, too. To and they can do it from afar. So that's why they take <gasps> so much damage. So, we're fine. Be a wash in a rain of blood. Yeah! That's it's all? just gonna suck that we're gonna take so many hits. Also, we should probably do a, coor a coordination attack, because I don't think we've done that, actually. Come on! Come on! Alright, here we go. Let's see. Easy. You won't escape. Yeah. Come on, come on. Eat this, you piece of crap. Uh. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, here. Yes. Unskilled fools. Did you believe you would have better odds if you faced me as a group? What? Nothing can stand up to my face. Who will fight me first? I'm more <laughs> I can go anytime. Alright. Uh let's try the coronation attack go again. Easy. Won't be that guy, but this is definitely a little bit easier on, than uh, the, the Keisha fight. But then attack. again, it could literally just be the fact that can stand I have there's literally face. three of us versus this one powerful Shah. I can do this. And um, you know, with Noir, it was literally just her versus Keisha, and we were limited on the amount of items we could use. Can this be? Also, I'm sorry for the amount of times I'm. Oh boy, oh boy, it's happening! It's happening! Oh, it was a scary amount of damage, but at least it wasn't as massive as, massive as I thought. Ready. Especially since they're in their HDD form, so thankfully that doesn't deal as much damage as it I thought it was going to do for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. I can go anytime. Also, I'm not I'm not realizing it actually says co co cooperation, I think. So it's a cooperation attack, not a, a coordination. <laughs> I read that wrong. I mean, same difference, come on, right? Come on. Eat this, you piece of crap! Let's it! Let's go! Die! There's no way in hell I could lose to the likes of you! I feel like I've gotten stronger! Yay! I'm also not realizing Rom has like the same hair color as uh, Whiteheart. So, uh, you gotta do something about that, Ram. Have you come back to your senses yet? I've erred to think I would be so cornered. Still, you have good fists. This is truly a battle to the death. This still isn't enough? Damn it! How long are you gonna be like this, Sisha? There are lots of people in Louis who are worried and waiting for you to return. That's right! Let's play games together again! I want to play with you again, Sisha! I am delusion itself. Strife is stronger than words. Now, let's fight until either perishes. I don't want to fight. Let's pull pranks on Blonde like we did before. Let's doodle again, okay? Hmm? Wait, doodling? We all doodled on Blonde's novel script together, Sisha. Don't you remember? Hey, wait! 
So you snots really were the ones responsible for that. <laughs> Whoops. And you, Sisha. How dare you act all innocent! Wait, Blonde! We need to persuade Sisha to come back to our side first. Shut up! It doesn't matter anymore! <laughs> oh my gosh! My and thanks to you bastards, my work was ruined! But we didn't have any paper to doodle on. Oh my gosh! You always tell us to conserve resources. Don't oh! mess with me! I won't forget Probably you! Probably not in that way, though. Uh, run away! <laughs> Wait, Ram! Stop running! Get back here! What? what is this? Horsing around during battle? Oh, I was waiting for that opening. Grit your teeth, Seesha. Ooh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Did you really have to hit me straight in the face? And with a fist. Oh. Seesha, you all right? Is that something you'd ask a person you punched? Yes. <laughs> I had no choice. I was trying to bring you back. That's smug. Sisha! Sisha! Rom, Ram, and you too, Blonnie. I'm so sorry for worrying all of you. Why didn't you just ask for help? It'd be wrong of me to burden you, so I thought it'd be fine if I endured it, but I never expected this to happen. I mean, that definitely confirms to us there's definitely a being um, that is behind all this, and if even if you do the right thing as a Shah, it will possess you. I had no intention of dissolving our pair. If you think of me as your partner, then I'd like you to confide in me. If you release your delusion powers, and it creates delusionary monsters, all we need to do is defeat them. That's right! We just have to beat them all up! Isn't that right, Rom? Right, Ram. Thank you, everyone. Let's head home. This is very wholesome, Louis. except for the swearing. Okay. So, Sisha couldn't become a vessel. Oh well, it looks like they managed to obtain the target item anyway. Target item? Wait. So, Steamax. Oh! Did you obtain the item that was enshrined within Loi? Dang! I forget how be- look how beefy this dude looks like, jeez! As your information stated, it was stored in the mansion's basement of the revolution leader, so it was simple to steal. But what exactly is this controller? Upon inspection, it seems like an old model. You wish to know? Yes, I do. <laughs> no can do. No, no can do. Come on, General, please don't tease me. I've been so bothered by what it could be that I can't sleep at night. <laughs> Exaggerating as usual, C-Max. However, I can't tell you now. No way! There's no need to be so depressed. I will tell you when the time comes. <laughs> this General BP robots are like, oh, you want to take that to me? He's like, oh, it's okay, buddy. I'll tell you later. <laughs> You'll tell me when we collect all the parts? Correct. Once they've all been gathered. Okay. We're learning now. What a chore. But, what and why with the lady? Also, just for sake of it, I just want to upgrade these. Because, I mean, even though I probably don't have to, I'm just really curious in any reason, shape, or form. It could literally do something and I have and I would have no idea. I mean, initiates another dialogue, so. So I'm wondering if, um doing this enough either like does actually something amazing or uh wait what scott's wait scott as in like a scout oh a scout yeah probably i don't know 
Oh, by the way, Sisha. What's up, Bonnie? We're going to have a nice long chat when we get back, so I hope you're ready. Uh oh. Uh, huh? What about the sentimental ending sequence? Aren't we partners now? This is a separate issue. The crime of ruining my novel is heavy. Rom, Ram, you're at fault too. <laughs> what should we do? Uh oh. Uh, mm, why don't the three of us run away? Uh, I agree. Run away. <laughs> hey! Don't you run off! Wait up, you jackasses! <laughs> They're sharp teeth, though. Are you kidding? We're out of here. Run! Run away! If we get caught, we'll be punished. Oh, you're gonna be punished even hey! harder one way or the I'm other. I'm telling you to wait! And so, the four of them led a very peaceful life which suited them so well. And all the citizens of Louis were incredibly happy forever. Don't try to end this all nice and sweet. Wow, did she just we're really try to pull an outro it. on us? Like the scene's a... still going. Like hey, Neptune? We're at the end. We have to wrap this up nicely for the fans. Wow! Like okay, care. buddy. Oh, hey, wait. There's still something I haven't told you yet. Aw, oh, damn it. Don't tell me you're hiding another stupid freaking power or some idiotic nonsense. No, no, no. I just wanted to thank you for coming to find me and for saving me. Huh? What are you saying so suddenly? Well, you know, there wasn't really a good time to say it before. Oh, and one more thing. I'm home, Blonnie. Welcome home, Sisha. Oh my goodness, we did it. Okay. Thankfully, that was a little bit more shorter. Well, then again, I can't really tell by that but like <laughs> the way that ended though but that's interesting so we have two more to go we have uh vert and neptune before we end this episode off i am for sure we have more in uh, vr sessions with blonde because i got the little exclamation mark in the playroom and that's been kind of bugging me over a little bit so let's see the first few scenes with no, vert at what the <laughs> If you are worthy of becoming a soldier who will protect Leanbox, then it will be no problem for you to draw this holy sword. Um... What's the matter? I can comprehend the part about the holy sword and soldierly capabilities, but what in heavens are you sitting on? Him? His name is Goo Man. He is, as you can see, a Dagu Man. I am disturbed. Over here is Lady, a Dogu Lady. They're both my loyal subordinates. <laughs> the sensation of her rear pressing against the small of my back is... <laughs> now, now, Vert, dear. Go ahead and pull that sword out. <laughs> dear me, even though this is my main story, what is this joke of a still shot? I can <laughs> almost feel the world's ill will. I'm not interested in your monologue. Time is precious. Draw the sword. <sighs> Understood. Man, I keep getting notifications. <laughs> it's like crazy. I've done it. I've drawn the holy sword. Congratulations. You are the 983,067th wielder of the sword. Excuse me? Just one moment. I'm the 983 something? Why have so many been able to draw the sword? Do you not understand? Well, Vert, it means that you are number 983,067 of the people who've drawn the sword. It's a simple concept. Yeah, but like. <laughs> Which means there are that many other wielders of the sword, soldiers such as I? You need not concern yourself with that number. Including myself, it's better to have a rather large number of pawns. Now, Vert, you've officially become a Leanbox soldier. You'll get to work immediately. I'm assigning you a mission to suppress outside invaders. Outside invaders? Who are these outside invaders? It's as the name implies. 
There are those who pose a threat to this nation from the outside. I'll have you first fight the outsiders in the forest near the coastline. I wish for you to protect the forest for the citizens' sake. Also, accept this as a farewell gift. Only a hundred? A hundred credits? Wait, this is all I get for a parting gift? I leave the rest to you. That is all. After I made contact with Neptune and the others, I journeyed toward Leanbox's Basilicum. You're also a narrator as well. Also, I'm gonna look at this real fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I can definitely see the whole reference with her being a, you know, a uh, satire to the Xbox, but it is way more noticeable right now. Like, the green, number one. Number two, this box. And, uh, very futuristic. However, the lean box that greeted me was merely a counterfeit of the original. It was as if I had never existed while Esha, of Gold Third as lean box's ruler, was adorned with love and praise from the citizens. Wow, so just right off the gate, they already know she's a Gold Third, just right off the gate. So, I feel like in some way, shape, or form, they definitely wanted us to play this left to right, starting with Neptune. Because the way this was written, so I guess I'm a little lucky that I got with the number uh, from the random generator. I got the number two, and I decided, all right, let's start with Noir, then we're gonna go to the Blonde, then we're gonna go to Ver, then we're gonna go to Neptune, just so we can, this you know, apparently indicative see of a foreign uh, invasion, the other characters instead of just constantly playing Neptune, even though we can play Iffy and Kamba. the surface of it all. Also, the office of the soldier was restructured as a more accessible profession. Leanbox designed this initiative to strengthen national security. If one has the aptitude, she is given a mission to defeat outsiders, and depending on the results, she might receive financial compensation. In order to investigate what happened to Leanbox and to get closer to Esha, I registered as a soldier. Oh, that's why you got such a weird kind of role. <sighs> so this is interesting. So it's not going to be like, oh, we're going to get rescued by a Shah. This time it's just, she's kind of just on her own. And the Shah herself is already the ruler. Like, straight up. Not even a secret. She's just already the ruler. She's, you know, doing I've this. I've scoured all corners of the internet. I can't believe the existence of CPUs has been so impeccably erased. Honestly, what is this magic? Who used it? On top of all this, I'm unable to contact Neptune and the others. This is most worrying. Well, nothing will be solved by complaining. Even if my existence is known only to me, this is still Leanbox, and Leanbox is my nation. As her CPU, I must maintain my duty to her. For now. Wait. Before any of that, however, I must ascertain the security of my account on Four Goddesses Online 2. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. My main and my sub are safe. I'm so glad the countless hundreds of hours I've played and thousands <gasps> spent were not wasted. <gasps> yeah! I'm sure oh my it's because gosh. my actions on Four Goddesses Online 2 were greatly admired. I mean, then again, I would definitely feel bad if I were to be in a rewritten history and all my progress in Splatoon 2 has just been wiped. Because I've played that game for over like 2000 and like 200 hours at this point. I thought it was like 2,600, but now no, I was I a little over-calculating it. I can place my all into protecting Leanbox from the invaders. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay, so, and this is the part where we uh, eventually will be playing as, um, who is it, Nepgear? So I can't wait for that. And again, before we end off the episode, Let's go see VR sessions with Blan, which should be really fast, right? Since it might be like two or three, I, or maybe a little bit more. I wasn't reading the title, but I think, uh, whatever. Oh yeah, I also, oh my gosh, just. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, I think. Uh, 
about last time. I'm sorry to worry you. It's okay. As you can see, right. I'm not so tired today. I'm feeling much better. What? Gives off a little sound effect here and there. I don't know why it does that. I bet you're wondering what's in the envelope, huh? I don't know if I should tell you. Well, we're the player, so you should. <laughs> Well, just don't laugh at me, all right? Uh, okay, okay. Are you okay? Like... Um, this is actually something I've been working on for a while. It's a light novel. Do you remember when I said I was really busy? Well, it's because I've been staying up late writing this. Well, Louis confers a Winter Forest Novelist Award a few times a year for new writers, and I've been wanting to submit. Of course, I've been chipping away at my story here and there for a while now. But the story in this setting slowly started to change. It really be like when that. When I realized the deadline was nearing, I just couldn't sleep anymore. I would stay up all night long working on my story. You see, but, she's also a night owl, and uh, I am a night owl as well. Um, this might be a weird question for me to ask, but do you think I have what it takes to become a great writer? I think you have a good understanding of who I am now, so I want your honest opinion, player. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I feel, I'm just, I will literally die if I ever said no, but like, um, two things actually. One, in one of her level up quotes, um, she said, does, so I leveled up, does this mean I could be a better writer? Or I leveled up, does, does leveling up make me a better writer? So I definitely paid note to that. And two, um, oh, f what was I going to say? You know, as a bookworm, such as yourself, that probably means you can do it, it, you can do what it takes to be a good writer, right? Right? If you're a bookworm, and if you also read, you know, a lot of books. Oh, wait, I remember what I was gonna say now. Because she said that um she was writing a night a light novel. That makes me wonder are light novels not really manga? Because if you write a light novel and she doesn't say anything about drawing pictures just yet, other than the cover, of course, wouldn't that mean that this, that light novels are just really good books then? Or they're like, or is it night novel, night novel, night novels like light novels? Are like, um, there's mostly dialogue and you get to know the characters. M oh, <sighs> no wonder why she can relate to the characters so easily. They talk a lot in the light novels, do they? Okay, I'm gonna just shut up and I'm gonna just agree to the flipping question. Hearing you say that gives me the confidence I need to keep writing. And I know it's tough. Yeah, because he's been staying Even up all night. Even if the path is difficult, if you don't believe in yourself, you'll never be able to live the life you want for yourself. That is true. If I start to worry about what other people think of me or my work, well, I just can't think about that. It's irrelevant. What's important is that I do what makes me happy. I can't forget about that, even when it gets difficult. <laughs> that sounds like something a protagonist would say, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. So, I have a little request for you. I wanna let this story breathe for a little bit. If it's okay with you, 
I'll leave the envelope here for now. Is that Oh no, she said request. If I take it home, I know I'm going to want to tweak some minor details. I feel like I shouldn't look at it for a few days because it feels good right now. I am hoping that the next time I look at it, I can add some magic to it. I feel like taking a break from the writing will give me some good ideas for it. Oh, please, don't mention this to Neptune or the others. <laughs> I really, really don't want them to know about this. Please don't tell them. I guess it's time to go. I'll just leave it right here. And keep it a secret, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's so adorable. Okay. That sounds so weird, though. I'm gonna just leave it here so that... You wouldn't be tempted to tweak it, but isn't that something that you probably should think about? Or is it because she's been staying up so late at night so many times that she knows she's going to do something and she doesn't want to do it? I don't want regrets. That explains it. Experience over wisdom. Oh, she came through my bookshelf. That's wonderful. I am sitting on my chair. Was she reassuring herself or something? Like, did she come in the room? She, I mean, she came in the room, like... She kind of did the little nod, so it's like, Alright, yes, this is what I'm going to tell him. Oh, she's blushing a little. Well, <laughs> hello. Hello? I'm gonna just... <sighs> so, when I went home last time, I tried a lot of things to get some new ideas going. I tried spending some time in nature... Tried fighting monsters nonstop. Played in the snow with Rom and Ram. I even tried making different kinds of sweets. <gasps> wow! Why are you so pretty? Thanks to that, I have some good ideas now. Someone once said that nothing ever becomes real until it is experienced. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. here, these sweets I oh. made. Well, they're as real as it gets. She's, oh, oh my gosh, I could tell It's a that. simple <laughs> cookie called boule de neige. It's French for snowball. I don't know if I made them right, but I'd like you to try one if you don't oh, mind. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, my oh yeah, I also got the little net pencils. Anyway... I wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at with my novel. Okay. It's definitely a work in progress. I've decided on the world and characters, but... <gasps> Sit! <laughs> I'm having some trouble with the story. Uh-oh, spaghettios. I've got a bit of an idea for it. But I can't seem to get it down. Hmm. I know. Can I run it by you? Yes? What? I think this will really help. She does that a lot. What? What is this? Like, hello? Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! The camera can't go as fast as you. Can it? Sorry to put you on the spot like this. I'll tell you what I've been thinking about so far. Okay. I've been realizing I keep putting <clears throat> my elbows in the same spot of these seats so much that it's kind of like. The legendary Dragon Knight Orlando was summoned by the deity Overoniana, overseer of the divine and demon realms. His quest is to save both realms. It's part high fantasy, part action. And during his travels, he fights alongside other legendary warriors, also summoned by Overoniana. I'm still thinking of what kind of crisis the realms are in, but 
The first friend Orlando makes is Olivier of the Divine Realm. She's the daughter of King Vidrier and is an excellent magic user. She's righteous and straightforward, but the fact that she can't be honest with herself is detrimental at times. <laughs> There's someone close to me that's quite similar. The second friend they encounter is named Noma. She resides in the demon realm, but has no special powers per se. On the other hand, she's highly intelligent and gives Orlando a lot of support. Orlando's the main character, right? She's different from Olivier in that she's much more calm. She gets jealous easily, however, and she can act a little cold sometimes. Noma is also the daughter of the Demon King, but since she has no powers, she was thrown out of the castle by her father, so she wouldn't be caught up in all of the drama or struggles of deciding an heir. The third person is Sebastian. You might have guessed from the name, but he's a butler. Because the Demon King is a bit of a helicopter parent, he sent Sebastian as both a butler and a bodyguard. He's highly loyal to the Demon King and to Noma. He's a lighthearted person, but he's also very sharp and does a lot of things in the shadows. Uh... Hmm... Talking about this out loud is making me think. Um... I feel like the thing I want to focus on most is... Could it be the characters? The plot is full of holes, but... I find the characters really interesting. In my mind, they aren't bound to this story. They have their own free will and act accordingly. I just want to see what they end up doing. Instead of forcing a plot onto them, maybe I should just let their personalities dictate where the story goes. Do you think that's a good idea? I tried everything I could to keep track with that, but I think I might have a, some details lost here and there, but the, basically the question is, should she let their personalities run the story and not have a plot on them ish and kind of like let the plot be themselves. They are the plot, like all the characters, you know, uh, Orlando, who is the main character the girl who is a daughter to the devil, basically. And Sebastian, who's the butler, who sounds like a sp who's also a bodyguard and works in the shadows like a suspicious dude. Okay, I don't know if I miss this, but is there a conflict? Because that's usually what needs to be in a story. There needs to be a conflict, unless the conflict is Orlando's trying to resolve both realms it seems like or Orlando wants to get with a girl but the girl is the daughter of the demon king and the demon king is an overprotective parent so that's why Sebastian is there I feel like that could work but I don't know if she said anything about a conflict. So unless she did say so, there is a conflict, or she at least knows a conflict. Just, I feel like that's the most important part. There has to be a conflict between something, something important at least. And I feel like that should be either in, be that should be in between, you know, Orlando wanting to get with a girl, but you know, there's the Demon King and he won't allow that. Or, you know, Orlando trying to resolve both realms, but the both realms won't resolve with each other, you know? If I read that right. So, possibly. We have similar tastes, don't we? I feel more convinced now. Plus, some plot development <sighs> or some people that try to force plots into It'll movies or stories can get a little bit like, what? I'm a famous author if I keep this up. 
I'll start working on these problem areas as soon as I get home. I have new ideas, too. I think I'm gonna go home right away and start working. You know, I wasn't really sure if I should come see you today or not, but I'm glad I did. Yay! I feel like I mean, you oh, was that why she came in like? Too. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to thank you. So, thanks. <laughs> see ya. See you later. <laughs> Why is she so adorable? I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one more, maybe two more. I think we this might be the last one. So yeah, let's see. Dif something about difficult subject. I don't know. I'm on my chair again. Like I usually am on my chair. She either regrets coming here or she's really tired. I mean, her eyes were kind of like a... Hi there, player. Hi, Blon. Wait, why are you staring at me like that? Because you're tired, aren't you? I'm just kidding. You can always see right through me, can't you, player? Yes. I have well, been laboring over my manuscript since the last oh, yep, time she's I was tired. here. Mm -hmm. But it's just not working out. Oh. No matter how many different ways I think about it, it's not going where I want it to go. I've been feeling depressed. Oh, oh no. No. Sometimes I hear Don't people say that you shouldn't let your head get in the way of what you're thinking. But then what am I supposed to think with? Oh. Oh, your heart. Uh, hey, what gives? What are you looking at? Come on, ma'am. Why would I look at the right side of your chest? My the left side. Heart? Yes. Oh, you're saying I should feel instead of think. Yes. <sighs> I have read so many books. I couldn't even tell you how many I've read <laughs> in my life. What are you staring at? <laughs> and yet, I can't even manage to write one good story. I don't know. Maybe my imagination is just being stubborn. I'm pretty bad at writing. Oh. Um, depictions of romance and love, things like that. Oh, I'm I've sorry. I've read a lot of romance novels, but when I try writing scenes like that, I just can't get them right. It feels unnatural. Oh. Besides, I'm not even sure of what of what to write about. By the way, player, is there someone in your life that you like? Someone who's special to you? How should I answer this? I won't tell you what, but I think I do. I think. I'm very positive, I think. And I'm not talking about a family member. Interesting. Wow, she looks so... I won't be nosy, I promise. But, um, well, I hope it works out. I might be working on writing a novel, but reading a novel and writing one are so very different. I just realized what she asked. I think. Do you remember what I said about doing what makes you happy, even if it gets difficult? 
Yeah? I'm not so sure about that anymore. I just realized, was she wondering if I had someone special? And she was like, if Anyone I didn't, then she can be the but opportunity? It takes a real genius to move the world with their pen. Did I freak sure that up? That Did I freak writer. up that opportunity? And right now, I can't even manage to get my book in a bookstore. Let what alone change the world with my writing. Or could I say yes and just pretend like it's her? <gasps> I need to open up my world to new experiences if I want anything to change. Maybe, for starters, I can try finding a partner. I'm just kidding. I'm a goddess who rules a nation. It would be a disaster if someone found out. For now, I can research online. No, that's no good. I might get biased knowledge planted in my mind. Looks like time's up. Um, please, don't worry. I'm just stressed. And you can't mention a single word of this to Neptune or to anybody else. Okay. Uh, I'll be back soon. See you then. See you then, Blonde. Precious. I feel like I made a mistake with that last question, I think. I mean, unless this is exactly what I'm thinking. I don't know. Cause I hope I did not answer it in the way that she thought I did. Otherwise, I'd be really pissed. Anyways, that'll be the end of the episode for today. A lot longer than I imagined, but you know, just how it is, right? Hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode today. And if you did, you know, do the usual. Give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this Mega Dimension Neptunia VIIR content. And um, I'm probably gonna go back to that one session just to see what happens if I said no about the whole do I have someone special in my life at the moment. Was it like, oh yeah, it's at the moment. Or it, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm just overthinking it because... Hello, I'll see you guys when we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. Uh... <laughs>